Welcome to CC My Car, and today we're going to go over a lavalier that can go great with your phone. So while I started vlogging recently, I noticed that I like to, I don't know, have a microphone on me when I'm editing either on my iPhone or on my MacBook. Not so much. I don't like to use my Yeti all the time because honestly, I think that's good for podcasts or when I'm stationary. But as you know, we move around a lot and it's good to have a microphone that you can take with you wherever you go and also something that you can attach to your camera and it fits everywhere. So I found this microphone on Amazon. There was a, these are, this is one of the items that they make by many people. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of off brands or I'm sorry, there's a lot of brands that make this specific device multiple ways, but you just have to really dig in deep and look at reviews and check and see what works, what actually has good reviews or a content creator has created a good review out of it. This one I found from this reviewer and I decided to just buy it and I'm really impressed. This microphone sounds close to my Yeti. Honestly, I have no issues. I'm actually going to do a sound test with my Yeti and this microphone so you guys can see. My wires and stuff like that and it has compartments where I can just put this mouse in there but I think I might get a cover for it. I'm not quite sure. So as you guys can see, the the sound is almost similar to my Yeti. Just note that I wasn't using any sound absorption tools or anything like that, so it, it might have sounded a little echoey. The reason why I like this microphone is because it's portable, accessible, wireless, easy to charge, and it sounds close enough to a very nice microphone for a good price. So it's great to do voiceovers or if you're doing an interview and you don't want to carry heavy, this is great. I'm all about carrying light, honestly. So this little setup does come with a case and instructions, a USB-C charging wire that you can charge it, charge your microphones from. But I mean, everyone nowadays already has a USB-C charger. It does have an iPhone lightning um, plug on the side so you can charge your iPhone as you're recording an interview or something like that. If you have a, a battery pack with phone lightning um, plug on the side so you can charge your iPhone as you're recording an interview or something like that. If you have a, a battery pack with you, that's I found that really convenient. I only use it once when I was um, voicing over Premiere Rush. And yeah, I only used it once. So I think that's really convenient to have. It already has noise cancellation in it, so that's great. Because sometimes when I'm editing and then my AC turns on, it kind of sucks. So it's good to have that. I noticed that when I use my Yeti, it I can still hear a little bit in the background, which is pretty strange because my Yeti is a little bit more expensive. Um, so this setup does come with a case two lavalier microphones, a wire, and just instructions. But other than that, it's a really simple setup. It's at the time when I got it, it was cheap. It was originally, I think, $59.99. It was at $25 because I got it on a Black Friday and coupon, Amazon coupon sale. So that's really neat. Um, I would keep an eye on, on it. I linked the, um, the product in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like it, uh, like I said, again, there's multiple companies that make these um, little microphones. I would specifically go with the one I have in the link below. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe if you'd like, and let me know what you think. All right, guys. So I do want to make it clear that there is other brands that sell these microphones. Uh, here's a test of a microphone uh, brand that I got additional to these. Um, the reason I bought these was because I wanted to have something dynamic that I can work with on my Mac and my iPad. Well, it turned out that they weren't that great. They were not that great. <laughs> They were not that great, and um, I ended up just buying another set of these because I realized that the sound just sounded a little too, like, not authentic. I mean, granted, these are a little affordable lavaliers, but I was very impressed by the quality difference that these have compared to the other ones that I had that had uh, just a variation of ways to use them. Hey guys, this is a test video. I'm testing. I'm trying to see if this works because I really hope that I don't have issues with this microphone because I spend money on it. Okay, this is a test. So I'm testing the audio for the mic and I am hoping it sounds different. We shall see. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference, but I found the other one sounded kind of like muffled and it sounded like it was having an issue with the technology in the device, like it was having a like a rough time catching up with the audio. I'm not quite sure. I'm not a voice, a sound tech, but it just sounded really, 
it sounded like I was using my niece's karaoke machine. <laughs> so I was kind of like, okay, I I couldn't I couldn't return them at the time because the time had already passed. And by the time I started testing them after the holidays, it was already like a month later, which tells you how long it has taken me to make another video. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah, so I would absolutely get the ones that I put in the description below. Uh, like I said, I bought the other ones because they had like three little nibs on them. It had like, and it doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to say is that just don't get those. I don't know why I'm talking about them. <laughs> but they looked really neat at the time. But now I realize that, oh, well, I just have to deal with recording on my phone. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Bye. Peace.